So uh, we decided to go and like try to shift gears over to something that could work on different consoles and stuff. So at this point, we decided to go and like look for engines and stuff. So we went and uh, we decided to go and we can since we are approved for at least one like platform, it's worth going to a cross-platform thing like Gamebryo is the engine we decided to use. So we like went and got a license of Gamebryo for WiiWare and uh, slash PC and uh, decided to go and start working with that. We also at this point went and took a large break because and we've been looking for funding stuff and we got a contract work gig for uh, that we worked on for the next six months. Um, I guess I can talk about that. Uh, we were working with our harmonics on a prototype for what would eventually become Dance Central. So we thought it was pretty cool stuff. So we we're like, this is interesting to do, and we get to go and get actual money, <laughs> which is good. So uh, we worked on that for a while. Went and we were able to go and like get more people on the team. We got another full-time artist. We got an audio intern, which worked like a lot on. Uh, like we sort of split his time on the projects and stuff, and uh, so we were able to go and like so basically at that point we had like spent a bunch of time on the uh, like contract work, and then after that was finished, we're like okay, so we can need to go and start jamming on this. We were hoping we could go and enter this into the IGF, the Independent Game Festival, for uh, that year. So we went and we started working on actually going and trying to get this more polished up, have like, get rid of all the fake art assets and stuff like that and sound, I actually have something that we can present as something we made and not say, hey, wait a minute, I recognize that from Mega Man, we don't want <laughs> any of that stuff in there. So uh, we actually went and like tried working on a game in earnest. So one of the things from this uh, flash prototype that we had is, uh, as I said, a lot of people got confused by the building stuff. The whole blueprint thing was always a little weird of like, do I need to get this exactly? How important is it? I feel it exactly? How uh, is it bad that I have stuff extra? stuff? So we were like, okay, so the building stuff for this level is a little complicated. We're like, we're thinking, okay, if we want to get this on WiiWare or something else, we're going to probably want to simplify the controls a lot. So we tried to go and uh, simplify the building to be like really simple, that it could work conceivably if you just had a Wiimote to control, which like is a lot less buttons than an Xbox controller. And uh, so we worked with uh, making uh, this, which was become our uh, IDF entry. So yeah, as I said, we're using Gamebryo, so this was the, this is, uh, the idea is that this could be... So we were going for a really ambitious thing here. We were trying to go and say, okay, so let's go, we like the whole building fighting thing, but let's go and try to make it so there's like different uh, mechanics for like each level. Like so in this first level, we'll have like these really simple building tanks so you can get used to the game. Then we'll go and try another cool, like, you know, we're gonna have like a bridge level where you have to go and like connect wires and stuff like that and like try to go and make a bridge across. You're gonna have like some crazy world of boo type level, some like, you know, like a Tetris type level where you build stuff. You're gonna try going and doing all sorts of these crazy ideas, and each level is gonna be completely different, and it's gonna be crazy. That is the uh, idea. So um, uh, there's a little problem with scope with that. <laughs> so we realized that after it took us forever to go and make this level, which is just really simple. Oh, we also decided we wanted to have different customizable hats. That was an important discovery when we decided that. <laughs> Yes. Oh, there you go. This has PlayStation controls on it. Excellent. <laughs> probably, that's probably configurable somewhere, but oh well. <laughs> you guys can live with PlayStation controls. <laughs> yeah, so this was being pitched to, like, still PlayStation and uh, Xbox. So in this version, we have the PlayStation controller written up there instead of Xbox. Translating that in your head, it's A to attack and it is B to build. <laughs> And it is X dash. Actually, that's just. Oh, yeah. The square does not look as different when you start with this. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. So, as I said, we really simplified building. And uh, the idea is like you just sort of go pick up pieces by going over them. 
And another thing we put in is we felt like the fighting and the building were way too disjoint in the first like, versions. So we made it so, okay, you can go and beat up these guys in order to get pieces that you used to build. And we thought that was a really good way to go and integrate them together. They don't have to fit. So this one, like, didn't, a big critique we had with this version is it didn't really feel like building because it felt more like a really plastering wallpaper up there. <laughs> yeah. So make, well, there is cool stuff with that. It, it doesn't uh, make it, uh, you know, it, it didn't really feel like building. Uh, build, and so when we were working this, we spent a lot of time on this, but we felt, we always got the same place, you know, like the building part didn't really feel integral, like, you know, it didn't see, it felt like it sort of tacked on. And we were thinking, oh, well, it's okay, because it's just the first level with really simple building mechanics, and the next level it'll be, like, way cooler, and, like, you know, everyone will be all excited about it. And so we spent a lot of time with this, and we are always just, like, going and, like, trying to dismiss that and stuff, but the thing that came out in the end is we just felt like, while this game is sort of almost fun, it isn't really that fun. Like, it's interesting enough, it can keep you engaged, like, you know, it's it's sort of like if you go and you see, like, a random, like, you know, cool, like, flash game there, like, you may not play it, like, some flash games you'll go and keep playing, some flash games you'll feel are pretty cool, you'll play it for, like, you know, 15 minutes because it's interesting, but then you'll go and not touch it ever again. And we felt like this is sort of in that category rather than the ones that people keep on going back to play. And uh, so, like, we felt like we had a real problem here, and we're like really concerned about this. Um, like, what do we? Oh, so we had we also had power ups in this game. So when you kill enemies, you could randomly get power ups. So you have these random gecko dudes. That when you went to you kill them, you would get a. Uh, You'd either get blocks, well, you'd always get blocks, and you'd also get uh, a, uh, like, occasionally a health boost or um, a power up. We also had these environment hazards, like this electricity thing that would go and electrocute you or the I noticed that you need to flip it up so that if you're in the water, it Yeah, and you can also, but it also electrocutes the, the geckos that you don't use it properly. So if you're not dead, but the city is totally submerged, if you patch enough holes, you can make the water go all the way back down. Yeah. Well, but not all the way back down, but mostly back down. But if you die during that, you don't get more lives. Whereas yes. if it's not full, you do get more lives. Yeah. So yes, you both died when it was all the way down. We all had a boss battle, but whatever. <laughs> this, is this, great. this is actually kind of boss-like. It's like the dam is like a boss. Yeah. And I mean, well, there's an actual boss fight with the boss at the end. <laughs> So you have this giant electric eel that you fight. Um, <laughs> but yeah, as I said, like there's a lot of problems with this version, and uh, like we just felt like, you know, we just felt like, uh, you know, there's uh, too many problems with this, and not enough like ways to get it to, uh, not enough ways to uh, make it worth it. So. We, like, that was like a year ago when we got to this. It was at, like, near, I guess it was December 2009 or whatever. And so after that, we went back and we started thinking about this. We took a break, like, around, you know, end of December ago and decided to go, like, you know, huh? But how long did it take to get from scratch to what you just wrote through that? Like, so that particular So let's see, that was, uh, we started in September of 2008, and we went and we spent like a few months going pro doing some prototype stuff. Then we went and did contract work for about six, seven months, and then we got this at around December. So, in total, it had been like it had been like you know about 15 months minus six or seven. So, for all of that, and I'd say on this particular prototype was from like August to December, I guess. Like, both getting used to the game engine and, like, all that stuff, and going and getting this. Uh, and uh, as I said, we were also experiment. like, at the time, we were also thinking a lot about WiiWare. Um, so, as I said, we decided at that point to go and, like, take a good hard look. Because we realized at that point that we'd gone and spent a lot of time going and, like, we wanted to get this vertical slice, you know, like, 
a little idea of what this thing when finished would look at. Like, get to look at this one level working really well, and uh, don't go and spend too much time on all the like later levels with all the crazy different mechanics. And I, the problem we felt was we picked the wrong level to do this because this level doesn't have interesting building mechanics, so we're not actually exploring what makes it interesting. So we're like, okay, we'll go and think about this. We're going to have to go and uh, try different middle mechanics that's very different and see if maybe we can get that feeling good. Like, go and, like, not go as far and, like, polish again and try to see if we can get something that feels really fun at a basic level was idea. So we were going, and as I said, we had thought of a lot of different ideas for like different crazy mechanics. So like we had a lot to go from. One of those ideas was sort of along the lines of like you know you drop like you know sort of like how we have in SPS now, where you have drop like Tetris type pieces and like you know you're trying to go and build stuff. And we were like, you we didn't have really much planned before that. And we we're like, what if we went and sort of mixed this with like more of a tower defense thing, where like if you go and you build stuff, like the building will fight with you. So because we'd already had like. Adding in the whole enemies going and beating them up to get pieces made it so it felt like fighting was not like silly and trivial. Like you know, it felt like it was integrated to the game. We we're like, how can we go and make it so that the building also feels like it's non-trivial and integrated with the fighting? Because we had it one way but not the other way. So we we're like, okay, what if we had it so that you build stuff and the stuff you build would fight with you? That was like the sort of underlying idea. So we're like, okay, let's just go and try scrapping this entire thing go and work on getting uh, some prototype working that will get, you know, very basic, the tower fighting with you, basic building that is more like, like, you know, treacherous puzzle pieces rather than this whole wallpaper thing, which we all decided was the wrong way to go because it's not interesting enough on the, on the building puzzle side. So we went and we spent some time getting a prototype that uh, worked on, uh, like, you know, just basic building and fighting and stuff. And we decided that was already more promising than the NAM level, we thought. So we actually, like, as I said, you know, we sort of had, like, gone through the wrong channels with Sony the first time, so we have, we're just now getting ready to get up <laughs> with the uh, right channels for Sony, like, uh, to go through the correct way. And we were having a meeting, and, like, Aton had a meeting with, like, a Sony guy in New York at the time. And so he's like, okay, so we... While doing this, we also made a pitch video for like publishers, which I don't have with me. I don't think. Is it on YouTube? Yeah, probably. I don't think it is because it's, it's for the, it's for the damn level is the thing. <laughs> so I don't think it is. So we had worked on a pitch video type thing for that, and. Uh, what about your music video? Oh, that actually might be here, and that is on YouTube because I see our team videos. It's a good chance that is that. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, I think we made that, yeah, we made that while concurrently doing this. Like, we were in crunch for the, the damn level, but what we did what? that at the same time for some reason. What was that for? There was a SMU game, uh, guild hall competition where they asked you to go and put, like, a one-minute video, and we're like, why don't we just make an awesome video? And so... <laughs> <laughs> so we decided, like, like we, even though we said we don't want to spend too much time on this, we want to focus more on the game, we sort of made this awesome thing, like... Like okay, cool. Let's make a let's make a hilarious rap video. <laughs> and so we did. That might be here. Do you want me to show it? It's definitely on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea if this is it. Let's hope it is. <laughs> hey guys, we have to do this video for the indie game challenge. Uh, does anyone have any good ideas what we could do for it? We could show everyday life at fire hose. Nah, son. Check this out. Code for the game. This sweet art, yeah. I make it with the music, it's my domain. Gonna dance till I break it. Got my mind, got my games, and my games on my mind. Xbox, PS3, PC, we got the code for the game. Go, motherfuckers. I got my sound from the street. Auto to free trial. Ten days, suckers. My highs are what can we be? Baby. <laughs> so yes, we decided to do that sort of in the middle of crunch. <laughs> it's uh, definitely the right idea. <laughs> so yeah. Um, when you said pitch video, for some reason that's what I thought you were talking about. No, uh, and we actually had like, yeah, I don't think we have it on here, uh, but uh, yeah, we had like, we made a pitch video which was basically just trying to show the damn level and like, 
it was trying to show the later levels we'd have. Like we made up some stuff for the mechanics for what we'd have for a bridge level, which we didn't actually have. Yeah, but <laughs> we sort of made it up and like we were like, okay, we're gonna show this. So we had that ready. We were originally gonna show that to the Sony person down in New York, but then we we're like, okay, so this thing, this new thing we have already, it's already sort of cool. What if we went and showed that instead? So we went and we brought. I think we actually did show the pitch video, but then we we're like. Well, actually, let's go and see. This is something else we're working on—a new direction for a new level. I think we we claimed it was just going to be a new level at the point, <laughs> instead of it saying it's going to completely change the game and we're going to scrap everything else we worked on already. <laughs> but uh, so we we're like, oh, we had this new game, and so we pitched that with Sony, and like it apparently made an impact because they went and made us an offer to publish us later, and so at that point we're like, okay, so Sony's offer to go and publish us stuff and PAX East is coming up in a month, <laughs> so let's see if we could go and make something that looks really cool in that time. Unfortunately, I don't think I had the pack, like any of the other prototypes like the PAX East version on here right now, but uh, we can go, like, we, we did go and show it at PAX East. Simple version, we had like three of the blocks we like have in the final game, though they weren't exactly the same as they are now, but like we had the Missiles, the red missiles, the purple lasers, blue shields were all in, though shields work completely differently. And uh, you go in and you beat up these guys, get blocks, and it, we got a ton of great press, especially from Kotaku, like gave us like this awesome article, like Steven Tertillo, and uh, we like, it was like, oh my god, we're like, we're actually legitimately popular, like we might even have fans now, who knows? <laughs> And so from then on, it was just like, okay, so we have something good now, we just need to go and like make it. So we spent like the next like, well, I guess pretty much a year after that, <laughs> going and like designing new levels, designing uh, new block types, enemies, mechanics, all that stuff, going like just entering production. We had to go and like hire a bunch more artists again because we always seemed to be bottlenecked in art at the time because we still had one and a half artists. <laughs> and making a full game takes a lot of artists. Uh, and so we went and made all that stuff, and uh, by the end of it, you know, we ended up going and hiring what we have now, which is uh, Simple Scrappers. So it was pretty good. Yeah, I have one and four on a team right now. I have four. 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 I have four.